For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 9 of the Napoli career mode here on FIFA 17. We start with a game away from home against Atalanta today, trying to close the gap to those top three positions. There's an international break and then we're back at home against Roma. Arguably the third game of the season that should be a bit of a challenge. Of course, we played AC Milan so far. Lost that by a goal to nil, played Tottenham and were able to sneak that by the same scoreline in our favour this time around. What will happen in the game against Roma? Not too sure. We then end with a game against Benfica away. Yes, Benfica away in the Champions League after, of course, the first two games against Celtic and Tottenham going our way. So we're on form in the Champions League. We're doing okay in Serie A, not letting... Or not setting the league alight, sorry. So, uh, as you can see, fourth currently, but we are within touching distance of those uh, top three Champions League spots. And, of course, in third, Sit Roma, who we play today. So, win that, providing that uh, we also win against Atalanta. And we should be in the top three. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Roma, so far, though, undefeated and the only side in the league to remain so. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. It's going to be an interesting one. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. There will be a setup tour and giveaway video tonight. So make sure you check the channel page for that if you miss it. Or to make sure you don't miss it, sorry. Uh, that will be going live at around about 6.30. And then, fingers crossed, all fingers crossed, tomorrow we'll be back up to the normal schedule. I hope. That's the plan. Plans change, but hopefully this one will remain in concrete. Atalanta away to start things off. See you Good turn. I'm just trying to squeeze that the hamstick. We've done well. Oh, that was a pass, but him hamstick ran onto the end of his own pass. That could loft the keeper. Lob the keeper, but it, it hasn't. It lofted straight into his arms, unfortunately. Uh, not the most threatening of opening chances. I'd like to perhaps create something a little bit more dangerous in the next 85 minutes or so. Here's Gomez. It's kind of their own... Oh, that's a decent effort. Gomez is kind of their answer to Dries Mertens, isn't he? You may have seen on Ultimate Team this year, he's been getting inform after inform after inform, having a very good season for Atalanta, but hopefully we can stop him... OK. Hopefully we can stop him from having a good game here against us. On the ball again here, not really too sure what happened in the midfield there. As the ball was played out, and that is wide of the target. Starting to pepper my goal with shots here, Atalanta, but none yet really causing Pepe Reina any sort of issue. Back to Allen. Shrug off the attentions of the defender. Hamsik to Zielinski. I want to get this around the corner to Belotti, which we've done well. Zielinski's on the overlap. We've played him in. We'll give it a crack. Ooh, good save by Berisha. That is hands down the best effort either side have had so far. Zielinski scored a very good goal for us. Oh, was it in the last episode? I think it was. From uh, the edge of the box. Ooh, that one a little bit too far out, clearly. For his talents, but never mind. We're starting to uh, create chances now against Atalanta, but it's still nil-nil at present. Johnny, lovely ball down the line to Dries Mertens, who's cut inside brilliantly. It's what he's done time and time again this season. Into Belotti. Oh, no. I was certain that was going to end up in the back of the net, and that would have been a 1-0 lead for us in the first three minutes of the second half. Belotti's so unlucky to have that cannon back off the woodwork and back out into play. Player 1-2 here. I could go back to Belotti. And now, surely this time he'll finish. <gasps> inches. Inches away. It just won't go in right now. We've got 40 minutes to try and get the ball past that white line. And underneath the bar. Hamsik with a tackle. Poor possession play, I guess, is the word that I was looking for. I just couldn't quite get it out. Hamsik with a save. Belotti! LOL! Big LOL! Massive LOL! I can't believe that's just happened. LOL. Um, yeah, he's just... <laughs> oh, Atalanta, what have you done? He's kicked that straight against his teammate, into the back of the net it goes. 1-0 Napoli, thanks to a huge slice of luck. I mean, I'll take it. We've been quite unlucky in front of goal in the past few moments in this second half, but we do now lead. He's like... Inside there too is Jorginho. 
So Alan quickly looking for Bellotti, who's not the fastest, but he is quick enough to get away here. And surely now Bellotti. It is a miss, a narrow miss. Oh, I tell you what. Well, the, the phrase I'm not having any luck in front of goal was about to leave my mouth but I think after the way that we found ourselves going 1-0 up I can't really get away with saying that can I let's say I'm just not necessarily being as clinical as perhaps I should be in front of goal I'll blame myself rather than uh, the footballing gods and the gods of luck because we've already gotten one massive slice of luck in this game but we're in trouble here is Spinazzola is in behind. That's a decent ball in too. Maximovic can only head as far as Koulibaly who knocks it down to Pesic. Draws a good save out of Pepe Reina. Not sure if we'll be able to hold on to this 1-0 lead at present. Still can't quite believe I missed that chance with... Oh, where's that going? Still can't quite believe I missed that chance with Bellotti to be honest. Keeper's up. Just noticed. Keeper is up for this corner. Wasn't for the previous one I don't think but is for this one. Okay, Hon heads that away and now it's a straight foot race between Mertens and Cohen. And rather clearly, Mertens is going to win it. And this will be 2-0 to Napoli. And I'm just going to run it all the way into the net. Napoli 2, Atalanta 0. I nearly scored. They then had two corners and left nobody back. And that is quite possibly the simplest goal I've ever scored in my FIFA history. That's three points for us. And depending what on what other results are... Uh, are coming in around Italy this match weekend. That might see us into the top three, even before we get as far as the Roma game. And the referee blows his final whistle. Let's find out now if those results have gone our way. I still can't, don't have an explanation for the first goal, but it was a very even game, as you can see there. So, I mean, they probably deserve something from it. Only two games to be played on this Sunday, and one of them is yet to be played, and that's probably the one that we're most interested in, where well, it is the one we're most interested in, Roma versus Inter. Uh, Ecuadorial international management job is something that I turned down, and Roma lost. Roma lost, so we are now above Roma with them to play next. Juve, however, have a game in hand to play against Palermo, and they will go above us and knock us back out of the top three should they win that. So we'll have to wait and see what the situation is by the time we get to that game against Roma, and we'll head there now. This is possibly and probably the biggest game of our season so far, considering the ability that Roma have in their squad and the a ambitions that we have as a team with regard to Serie A this season. Of course, we've got Juventus to come in the next episode too. Chesney, Jesus, Fazio, Manoles, Florenzi. Strong defence. 3-5-2. Okay, El Sarawi on the left-hand side. Protti, Salah and Edin Dzeko up top. Dzeko has been smacking them in for Roma in real life. Over 30 goals in all competitions so far this season. Broken uh, Francesco Totti's all-time Roma record for amount of goals scored in a single season. So, yeah, Edin Dzeko is phenomenal for Roma IRL. Will he be as good for them in-game as he is in real life? We will find out. It's Daniele De Rossi. I've just seen the run there, but thankfully De Rossi delayed with the pass, but Mo Salah very nearly gives them a 1-0 lead after three minutes. I was expecting the pass to the man on the left, and he went to the man on the right, and Salah very nearly stroked that into the bottom corner. That could have been the worst start of all time. Lorenzi into Edin Dzeko. Dzeko with Perotti in front of him and options outside of him, but he goes for the shot from the edge of the box. Elsa will keep that in, dinked into the middle, and Zielinski can only head behind for a corner. Uh, Roma are coming at me here and absolutely flying. We are strugs in these opening few minutes. Thankfully, that isn't the best of corners, and Zielinski will head it away, but Juan Jesus will get to it to uh, recover the ball. Leandro Paredes, a player that we're familiar with, of course, from the Karim at RTG. On the ball now for Roma. Decent delivery. We're going to struggle with balls in the air. No. We're going to struggle with uh, balls in the air towards Edin Dzeko. But thankfully, Maximovic and Koulibaly are both big, tall, strong, physical centre-backs. So hopefully, we'll be able to deal with the threat. But time will tell. Fats... Okay. Nice uh, attempted first touch there from Stefan El Shirawi. Fats here. Oh, get up, Lorenzo. This is, this is not going my way so far in this one. After the luck of the game against Atalanta to end up with two rather fluky goals we've started this one on the back foot and nothing seems to be going right for me 
is De Rossi. Crossing opportunity. He kicks it at Hiso, but it drops to Perotti. Again, crossing opportunity. Pulled it back there to Leandro Paredes. Into Edin Dzeko. Great turn, good block. But Florenzi will find Mo Salah. And it's going to drop here to De Rossi, to Salah again, and he fires wide. I've not been dominated like this for a very long time. This 3-4-1-2 of Roma is tearing me apart. I cannot cope with it. Uh, well, hang on. Hang on a moment. There is a cameraman on the pitch. Dude, what are you doing? He's... <laughs> I may, if I can see the goal here, because I got distracted by that, then, yep, brilliant. I mean, uh, <laughs> what was he doing on the pitch? I ran over to see if anything would happen if I got near him. And as it turns out, the one thing that happened was Roma have taken a 1-0 lead. Into Hamshik, out wide to Hisai. Insigne's there, Hisai will go again. Manolas is with me, obviously quite quick, Manolas. If I got through with Bellotti, it's not going to reach the intended target, but we've still got possession. Mertens. Oh, they've just got so many men back here with this uh, formation they're playing. They're leaving the other three up top and then just throwing everybody behind the ball when I get in an offensive position. Diawara will not take this free kick with 37 free kick accuracy. Dries Mertens, however, will. Can we have our first shot on goal? Yes, we can. Bending away towards the top corner, but a comfortable height for Wojciech Szczesny. Koulibaly. Oh, God, have I missed that challenge? No, Mo Salah, please. Oh, I'm falling apart now. I'm actually falling apart. A missed time challenge in the middle. Roma just with so many bodies forward there. Like this, in that narrow shot, there were five attackers. They're just flooding forward, and I'm not able to deal with it. Roma are by far the better team here. <laughs> I'm being well and truly outplayed. Insigne's gone down injured. Lorenzo is going to have to come off. We'll bring on Jose Cajon in his place, but that is not what we need at this moment in time. Three minutes till half time, and it's just a nothing challenge, but hopefully he's not going to be injured and out for too long. Time will tell, I suppose. We'll find out at the end of the game. But 2-0 down and losing one of our better players to injury just before half-time. Oh, Salah's beaten that challenge rather well. Not really too sure about Goulam's first touch there. And Perotti is past Koulibaly. And the shot is thankfully blocked by Maximovic. But it's dropped to Mo Salah. And he can't get past Hamsik. Can get past Hamsik. Can't get past Hamsik. Oh dear, this is the most difficult game that I've played so far. I know I mentioned at the beginning of the game that it's quite possibly the biggest game that we've played so far in this save. And it's the most difficult game that I've played so far in this save. So I'm not really too sure what to make of the performance in this one. But that's a lovely ball through to Bellotti and we're back in it. So as soon as I say this is the most difficult game I've played so far, we score. And we're back in it. So oh, pick the ball up, stop kicking it. We're, uh, we're back in the game. That's only, I think, my second shot of the entire game. And my first from open play. We had a free kick with Mertens. And now we've had a shot with Bellotti. And it's in the back of the net. It's 2-1 after an hour. Is the comeback on? He's side down the line into Jose Cajajan. He's got the pace to get away. Well, I say he's got the pace to get away. It's Manolas that was with him. Who's probably one of the quickest defenders in Europe. Nice back heel to Diawara. And here's Dries Mertens. Oh, Chesney denies us the comeback. Cajon will get it back in the box. Bellotti's up. Fazio chests it down. It could still go in and it very nearly did. Another very, very close oh, opportunity to give us an equaliser. And we very... Well, that's a foul. We very nearly ended up with another Coma Cologne goal. But Chesney recovered. Wow. This game has had everything. Rajan Angolan is on now for Paradez. How Nangolan wasn't involved from the start, I'm not sure. But will he make the difference? There's a bit of space out wide here for Florenzi. The right back playing wing back. And Salah should have scored. That should be 3-1. It could have been 2-2. It could have been 3-1. We stay as we are at 2-1. As now Francesco Totti comes on. Cajon into Dries Mertens. I need a runner. I need a runner. I need a runner. Cajon's gone. Jose Cajon brings it down. Another top save by Wojciech Szczesny. The game, well, I mean, it wasn't dead anyway. But the game is coming to life here. And Bellotti's up. And we've equalised. The most remarkable of games here at the San Paolo. 2-2 in the 73rd minute. 
What a cross. What a header. We're back in the game. This is unbelievable. Hands down the best game, most entertaining game of the save so far. Here's De Rossi out to El Sharawi, skip past the challenge. Maximovic drawn out of position here. And El Sharawi gets away from me again. Into Totti, waiting for the pullback. It didn't come. That's a penalty. I am certain that we should have conceded a penalty there. And the referee didn't give it. Gulen with the throw. Back there to Allen, who's just come on. To Jorginho, who's also just come on. Hisai, back to Jorginho, into Keohon, who was the substitute that came on earlier on. And final whistle goes. We're not going to get the chance to win it, but we have pulled it back to 2-2. A remarkable, a remarkable way for Roma to take the lead with a cameraman on the pitch. And then we pull it back in dramatic fashion. And they should have had a penalty late on in that half. I only had one shot at half-time, five total at the end of the game. He said gets an 8.8. .8. I don't really know, as I have the commentary available to me, or the vocabulary available to me, to accurately describe the turnaround in that game. We draw against Roma. It's not enough, I don't think, to put us back into the top three. And Insigne is out for three months. Oh, that's not what we needed at all but we do have the squad depth at present to be able to deal with it Benfica next Benfica Grimaldo tackled by Allen but drops only as far as Fazer. turns well but Allen not letting you get away although by doing so fouled him Mitroglou strike off the post get rid that wasn't rid was it Jonas brings it down and Drogoski makes the save well, that was close. Closer than I might have liked it to be. Corner to come in from Pitsy. And Lindelof with the header. It almost looked like he chested that, but that was comfortable for Drongowski. Let's slow things down and try and uh, build something of our own. Here's Mitroglou. Ah, I dived in there and I shouldn't have. Mitroglou into Jonas. Good tackle by Tonelli, but Pitsy gets it quickly to Rafa, who's in space. Good block by Hisai. Rafa tries to get it back into the middle and we will work it away. Benfica are playing very good football here, although they have committed a lot of men forward. And if I can time the pass right and put enough weight on it, Cajon could win that header. And, oh, it's Alan. I wanted that to go to Milik. Stood there and he wouldn't let me change to him. Milik. Oh, it's Milik there. All right, Mertens. 1-0. Oh, off the post and everything. 1-0 Napoli away from home against Benfica. The pass may have been misplaced from Cajon's header, but in the end, it ends up in the back of the net anyway. It was Marek Hamsik that was running forward. Milik with the assist. Lovely pass and the finish from uh, Therese Mertens. Very, very good indeed. We lead in Portugal. Oh, ref. That was a disgusting challenge from the Benfica man there. Thankfully, Hamsik's able to get up and is okay. But that was one of the most forceful tackles I think I've ever seen a CPU player put in. Therese Mertens turn his side doesn't quite work. We'll try and get something from the throw in. And Jonas, rather understandably, going to get a yellow card here. Might find himself lucky. To even still be on the pitch. I want to have a look at a replay of that. The ball had gone, hadn't it? I'd already passed it away. Oh, God. So late. I'm questioning whether that should have even been a red. You'll have to let me know. That. Oh, wow. Well, throwing it straight to Eduardo Salvio. You'll have to let me know in the comments section what you think of that. Shoshinio into Malik. There is Hamsik. And, oh, just managed, just managed to uh, squeeze it there to Cajon. Been closed down, but Cajon's turned well. And, no, the finish was just left wanting. Oh, what a strike. The turning side was brilliant, but the finish just wasn't there. Coming back off the woodwork. That should be 2-0. There's still half an hour to go. Hamsik could try and put this in the top corner, but it's hit Jardel in the face and gone out for a corner. Oh, wow, I'm, oh, I'm desperately unlucky there not to have extended the lead. That's going to come back out here to Hamsik. I'm going to drill it to the edge of the box where Jorginho is waiting. He will bend it. Oh! into the top corner get in superb absolutely superb well Jorginho was unlucky but that finish Cajon was unlucky sorry Jorginho with a strike that's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant bending it away Ederson not able to get across to it because it continued to drift and drift further from him that's a great goal 2-0 I think you'll find that will be the win. At least I hope that will be the win. We've scored two goals in every game we've played so far today. 2-0, 2-2, and 
to nil again, although there is still time in this one for that to change. We'll have to wait and see if it does. I <laughs> very nearly scored an own goal. Milik should win this header, and he didn't. Jardel did. Pizzi looking to get Benfica a chance to get one back. I don't think there's enough time for them to score two, but they can give it a good old go. No, nope, there's not enough time for them to score one or even have an opportunity of any kind. A 2-0 win to start us off, a 2-0 win to end it. Uh, a rather entertaining 2-2 draw against Roma, sandwiched in between. Again, not really having many chances, but clinical in front of goal. And thankfully... We get a victory. What was the other result in the game in the group? Spurs won Celtic won. Would have expected a victory for Spurs there, to be completely honest. I'm pleased with that. And we are still outside the top three, unfortunately. Uh, that draw against Roma and Juventus winning their game in hand has actually meant that we stay fourth. And they could go top Juventus if they win again, having a game in hand against Palermo now. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But Roma have now lost the game, as you can see. Wasn't us to beat them, but clearly in the next round of fixtures, they were defeated. So for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Set up tour video tonight, and I'll see you.